Hey guys, this is Dylan here. Um, finally back to show you guys how to get some mods on Risk of Rain uh, 2. Risk of Rain 2. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to put this link in <clears throat> the, the top of the description. You're just going to want to go ahead and click on this. And you're going to want to do a manual download, alright? And manual download, you're going to want to extract the file and then <clears throat> bring it into... You can just put it actually here. Uh, so it'll install, and then you just want to run it, and I have it right here, so it's just a little program. Uh, so what you want to do from there is just go ahead and click on it, and it's going to, here, let's go ahead and exit out. <coughs> let's get the let's get the full take. So it's going to bring you right here. Oh, technical difficulties. All right, so it's going to bring you right here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of games. So there's many games that it supports, actually. Like a lot of games. Um, so you want to find Risk of Rain 2. So right here, you want to go ahead and select the game. And then if you have it on Steam, go ahead and click Steam. If you have it on Epic, go ahead and click Epic. I have it on Steam, so I'm going to go ahead and select it on that platform. And then you got your default folder right here. You can actually create new folders. So you can have basically save slates for certain mods. So you don't have to have them all on one folder. But... I'm going to go ahead and select that folder. And I already have them all installed. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the main ones you're going to need. So you're going to want to need this one right here. Bepin X-Pack. You're going to want to want this one. R2 Appy. You're going to want King Mod Utilities. And when you download R2 Appy. It actually does download a whole bunch of these. So don't be too worried about that. It's just kind of the rest of the stuff. But most of these other ones are just stuff to make the game more fun. These are actually all not working anymore. I guess with the current update, they just don't work anymore. But most of these are skins. Um, you have better multiplayer. So you're going to want to get better skins, better multiplayer, and better extras. That allows you to get a bunch of the other stuff. Better UI is really good. Um, let's see. And I think that's about it. So whatever else you want to download, you just need those. Because those are like the core, core ones to be able to do anything else. So as soon as you have all the mods that you have downloaded, you can either choose Start Modded or Start Vanilla. So you can actually launch Risk of Rain from this. But obviously we're not here to play Vanilla. So you want to press Start Modded. Just click that. And it's going to go ahead and find where you... It's going to make sure you actually do have Risk of Rain, the game. Um, and then it's going to start. Alright guys, so as we get in here, um, so you can already see some of the mods showing. We got better UI. So let's just go ahead and press single player. And this is the definitive point of if they work or not. Uh, so as you can see, they are working. We got, you know, whoever these people are. I honestly forgot what I downloaded. I haven't played the modded version in a long time. But you even got Starstorm 2 and a new game mode. So, again, there's a lot of mods that can, you know, make the game more fun. I am pretty good at the game, so I do like to play on the hardest difficulty. And then, you know, with the expansions, it's why not. But uh, even for skins, loadout, you got a whole bunch of skins now, which is pretty cool. For uh, most people, yeah. So, if you just download skins, you'll, you'll get them pretty easy, so... It's pretty nice, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Short and easy, boys. Um, Y'all have a good one.